going on everybody welcome back to advent gaming today we are going to be looking at chroma key and how to layer your face cam on top of your gameplay in kind master editor when you first open up the app this is what it looks like you have your project page and then that right there and you select your size and that is how you start your new project this is where you will select your media I already have a project started but this is just showing you your you know your screen captures you pick your thing you go through it and then uh, we will be layering the face cam on top of this now this right here is the beginning of that project this is the raw footage just me screwing around with a fellow brother in war you know screwing around so we throw our face cam on top of that right there move it wherever you want it you know I like to keep it in one of the corners for real like the left or right corner it really all depends sometimes if chats being a little too spicy I'll put myself over the chat just to just to make sure you know I don't get in trouble for what is said in the chat you know because that kind of stuff does happen now right here I went ahead and muted the audio on everything that way it wouldn't interfere with this you know, doing the voiceover for it. Now, you guys can see I'm in front of my green screen there. You will go to the chroma key setting, enable it, boom, and then you can play around with your settings. Now that detail curve and the shut the what does that say the show mask? Show mask just like shows you what area you're blocking out. I really it's really just there for I guess reference but I don't really play around with the detail curve much I don't really you know I'm still figuring this stuff out so I'm showing you as I learned now you guys can see I still have that green haze around my guy right around my face cam there kind of green haze really on the chair real bad so we're gonna go to the chroma key we're gonna play around sometimes if you change your settings here back and forth or if you choose a different shade of green because maybe your lighting was a little bit off so if you sometimes you go with a darker green it'll sometimes level out sometimes you got to find the right shade of green for it to uh, chroma properly where you don't have you see you guys see I'm trying to eliminate that green line that's around my uh, my face cam footage I'm trying to get rid of that so it looks a little bit cleaner, it looks more professional. Now right there, you know, pretty happy with the way that looks. There's still a little bit of a haze, but once you drop it down and put it in the corner and play it, it's not, it's not like triggering to the eyes. It doesn't really, you know, pull your attention to it. But for, just for sake of argument, we're gonna try to clean it up as much as possible. Now I've picked a different shade of green here. We're going for more of a lime, you know, something that actually matches the color of my uh, green screen back here a little bit better. Now I have found that a lot of the time staying in the 60-30 range, like 61, 39, stuff like that, if you stay in that kind of range, it tends to work better if you're using the uh, poster board like I am. You know that I'm a lot happier with that. A lot, it looks a lot cleaner. You guys see, I'm just face camming over the footage, and that is how you chroma key and get everything nice and clean to work properly. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. I love all your faces. Thanks for stopping by Advent Gaming today, and I will see all of you guys on the next video.